Hello everyone, my name is uh, Mad Radio DX UK Mike 7 Echo India Whiskey and I want to uh, welcome you to this video where I'm showing my uh, latest acquisition which is the Shegu X6100 as you can see here I actually got it a little while back um, but I've been playing around with it just to uh, make sure it's uh, working properly for what I'm mostly doing these days and that is um, transmitting digital modes um, FT8 and some uh, FT4 so yeah um, using this um, Shego X6100 I like it I'm liking it even more um, let's say the more I use it um, I also still have my Shego G90 if you were to ask me which do I prefer the G90 or the X6100 um, I would say the G90 but the X6100 has its advantages over the uh, the G90 um, I'll have to cover that in another video so yeah just showing this uh, my uh, Shego X6100 I'm using a USB powered um, fan or double fan to both cool the uh, transceiver the X6100 because it can get quite hot um, when continuously transmitting let's say for digital modes um, you know, like I'm doing now with FT8 and I've got a fan here as well, the other fan, the second fan, um, it's for cooling my power supply here. It's a, a Maplin power supply. Maplin was a well-known retail store here in the UK. I think they still exist um, online only now, um, sort of like the Radio Shack equivalent um, in the, uh, the UK. Um, I was using a different power supply, but the problem I found was that it was uh, putting in like line noise into my uh, transceivers so I'm using this Maplin power supply that's meant for QRP or low power uh, transceivers and, it's, and it works really good it works great I actually got it 10 years ago um, when Maplin was actually um, a high street store when they had high street stores um, and it was actually for my receivers I think I bought it for my ICOM IC um, I, th I think um, I can't remember which one it was um, I think it was uh, one of the icon uh, receivers um, I had back at the back then, but uh, yeah, sorry, now I remember now it's the icon ICR75 uh, receiver. Um, so yeah, so uh, using this Maplin power supply from 10 years ago is absolutely great. But the one that I actually got the transceiver that I got recently, which is called a nice power supply, well, it's not so nice. It just puts too much noise into my transceiver, and I lose uh, reception. Of uh, stations and it just sounds too noisy so yeah very pleased with um, with having got this uh, second uh, transceiver I've been using it outdoors for uh, portable um, ham radio activity and uh, it, it works good it works good I was thinking of getting the uh, ICOM IC705 but that's too expensive but when I looked at what the uh, this Shego X6100 can do I thought I'll go for this one instead and I've actually had very good results uh, with it. Um, some people have said that there's overloading of signals with this X6100. Uh, I have not noticed it. Um, maybe if you use a very strong antenna, you will notice it. But I'm not really using that strong antenna. Look, I've got an MFJ1621 um, out, you know, with the antenna pointing out to the window. And um, yeah, even though I'm getting, I'm just going to show you um, on PSK Reporter, even though my signals are doing okay um, you know for uh, reception for people receiving my signals um, you know I've, I haven't noticed any overloading and so on there might be a few um, a couple of spurious signals or something like that and what I mean is maybe a bit of electrical noise but it's nothing that can affect reception so yeah so um, very pleased about this I'll have to do another video about this I think what I'm going to do is a video um, where I compare it to the G90 and I'd say which to go for, you know, is it this one, the X6100 or the G90? So, yeah, so uh, just an update video on my latest, uh, one of my latest per uh, purchases. Thank you very much for watching my video, 73s, and I'll see you in the next one.